Marbles, wine glasses, eggs and plates, it can only mean one thing. That's right, a science challenge in your kitchen using centripetal force. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Take the marbles, pour them out onto the plate. Gonna need to have a container that the marbles are gonna go into. The beaker works well for me. And you have to get the marble from the plate over here. Why am I holding a wine glass? Because you have to use the wine glass. You can only pick it up with the wine glass and you're not allowed to scoop it up. The wine glass has to remain inverted. It seems impossible unless you know something about Newton's laws of motion. Centripetal force, a center seeking force. You know what that feels like when you get kind of whipped around a corner or something like that? You're gonna do the same thing with a marble. Hold your hand like this and you're gonna have a spinning motion with your hand. Reach down, grab a marble and spin. Drop it in. <laughs> Come on, you see where we're going, ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at that, can I get a, oh, could I be, look at that. There's a triple for you, come on, ah! Oh. And he loses the challenge at the last second, but don't worry, you're gonna use your skills for something better, the spinning egg challenge. Now, I want you to grab egg an egg and I want you to crack it, but I want you to crack it lengthwise like this. Got it? So crack the egg, clean it out, and now you need a plate that has this kind of flat surface here. Try different plates. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on this because it kind of helps maybe slow it down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is tip the plate. I'm gonna add uh, a little bit of uh, energy to that egg, right? I'm gonna allow gravity to do its job and spin it at the same time. So now I'm gonna spin it and allow it to spin. Look at this, egg spins. Tip the plate, the plate's spinning, the egg is spinning, the plate is spinning, the egg all the way around. Can you make it all the way around? Can he do it? Yes, he can. In under a minute, the crowd goes wild. Hours of excitement because you know something about Newton's laws of motion. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your exciting science minute.